James Bond, this is a view to a thrill. Stashed away in a top secret lair somewhere in the northwest, part of the world's biggest Bond memorabilia collection. But who is the collector? The name's Bennett. Nick Bennett. It all started for me when I was a little kid, Live and Let Die. Yeah, that movie really stuck with me. Many years later, I started collecting. Um, I just remembered the thrill of Bond and um, how exciting it was. What are you doing here? Looking for shells? No, I'm just looking. Just like Sean Connery, who appeared in the first film, Doctor No, 60 years ago this week, Nick will stop at nothing to get what he wants. I did fly to the States to pick up one toy which um, isn't very green, but at the time it worked out because bringing that toy back as luggage was cheaper than shipping it and paying customs. So I've done some daft things. This collection... This is from 1977. This is a... a, a spree, still in its original box. It's never been taken out, it's uh, never been played with. A Spy Who Loved Me, the first Bond film I went to see. There you go. Well, that was the best toy of that Christmas. Nick says On Her Majesty's Secret Service is the best film, Connery, the best Bond, but who's his personal favourite? If my life depended on it, if I couldn't say anything else, I'm going to say Pierce Brosnan. The impact of Goldeneye, when the franchise had all, almost been shut down for a couple of years, uh, when Goldeneye came along, it suddenly came in with a bang and the whole world was in love with Pierce Brosnan. Behind the headlights, Stinger Missiles. Excellent. Just the thing for unwinding after a rough day at the office. With a new Bond film and lead actor announced soon, there'll be more merchandise, more to collect. Fans can view items in Nick's collection online, just not in the flesh. For your eyes only, then. For my eyes only.